Hello everybody, here is Michael Mark and here is um, the Cambodian at Cambodia they living around this area. This village name is Prey P and in Kandal Providence and District Saang. Poet and Putak went there to get some information and interviewing them and how poor they are there. You can see back there that the water pond and people are always there and to sow some food to eat. And this is another poor family uh, live in the middle of somewhere on the field, so this is the flood area. Yeah, and when the flood rise, it's about four to five feet high. So they could not live in there. They had to move, but they have no home. And they ask the land owner here to let them stay here for temporary. But these people are really poor. Look at their kid, and so poor. And we just have no water to drink. They had to use this water pond. It wasn't clean, you know, uh, to cooking and to for their shower and for their whatever they need for their life to using the water because they're so poor they couldn't afford any uh, clean water. They only can uh, use that. You can see uh, their kitchen, what they look like, their kitchen. See, they got one of uh, the bamboo bed laid on the open space without any covers and they make to be their kitchen. Uh, how poor they are, it's so sad about their life. That's why I be here to helping them some the best I can. Uh, you can see their home and their cat right there, just covered with something. This, their stove is not the standard stove in America. And this is the food that they eat. You know, they're so lucky to have the right to eat and then the food like meat, something, they didn't have anything. Their soup without any meat. They just eat them to survive and they all struggle in their lives, but they try the best they can to face all this situation. And her husband's name is Amon and he is 30 years old. And his wife's name is Janti, she is 40 years old. and. They has five children, but they couldn't afford it. The boy, they gave to the doctor who get more money and more something like income to come in and they can afford it. They adopt her son. And the other one, her parents just took to her homeland and she still left this kid, three of them here to live with her like one boy and two girls. And also, see, the carriage, the other one, it's a total, it's a cat. But they're working so hard for their life. And that thing to be hope in the future. <laughs> When they getting poor, you know, it's hard to getting up and no job available around here too. Only the job available here because they're growing the grass to 
feed to the bulls or the cow to any animal, but her husband Ramon worked with uh, the other people and cutting the grass. He earned 10,000 real to 20,000 real a day, and 10,000 real is two dollar fifty cents, and 20,000 real is five dollar. It's hard for this income, very low. It's hard to raise all those cats, but uh, the cat that already left her two of them, yeah, the one that I told you, like they live with the doctor, probably he got a better life to start his life and they send them to school. They have everything, a doctor and more income over at Cambodia, but like have no education like them because they start really poor from their family, so they didn't have any chance, any opportunity to go to school, so they get no education. Uh, probably they cannot read either. It's some They can read some little, but it's not a whole lot. So only education can uh, bring them up to the next level because they're more understanding, more mindset, and more good concept to start their life. But if they don't have the basic education, just everything just in the dark, they don't know where to start it. And who would and who talk finding them and try to talk to them and interview them and try to helping them like the best they can to start their new lives. So um, they're so happy to see them because uh, my team, yeah, Puwot and Putak and myself too. So uh, I just, you know, Cambodian Sam like them because where I'm from. So right, right now, I stay on the land opportunity in America, got better life, so I have to look back and help them somehow I can. And making this video to spread to the world, to let everybody know. And if you see this video, if you would like to help them, please share the video to let them see. And probably some general people, they want to donate and helping them and we will get from there. Please leave the comment to let me know, and then we can discuss and start from there to help the family. And we have so many, many families at Cambodia. They are Cambodian. We start from generation to generation, they're getting poor. And because they left behind the everything, like the cat after they die, and the cat have no school, have no, no nothing to start, even the land. But this area, the land very expensive, they could not afford it, like $10,000 up. So it's a lot of money for them, you know, like $10,000, like uh, uh, the richest people in Cambodia. They could not afford it, they only earn the income 250 to $5 a day and they raised for five kids, but uh, two kids already gone, but they still have three little kids. All these children, they're starving, they're hungry, they have no shelter, they ne have no school, have no education, no medical care, the hospitals, they know anything for this kid. It just no. And you can see all this video, but we, we cut it. We want to know and understand about the lowest level that live in Cambodia. So now we found one by one, one by one, just go after them and helping them. We're not uh, going there only one time, but we can uh, go to the second time if have some donator, donate something, money, or they want to buy food for them, or they want to build a house for them. Yeah, we can do that too, because help them to start their life, especially for their children. You see so little and cute boy and girl, it 
They didn't know anything. They didn't know their parents. They poor. They didn't know they had no home. To, they didn't know they are the homeless. They didn't know it, no land for them. No anything. They just, you know, uh, they just stayed here for the poor. They just move all over the place, and she keep crying, crying. So um, the, the light is start from zero. It's so why day by day. Without nothing, without the job available for, uh, you know, like the permanent job they have, manufacturer or factory working like in the United States, but in Cambodia, you could not find a job. It very rare, you know. They have the company. You can have a job to go there and work every day, even work for overtime. If you have a job available, those people will not poor like that. Uh, they will bring a good income to make their living, but they didn't have any income they, because they didn't have any jobs around. So the only job available here, uh, they grow in the grass, and he can go dig the dirt or grow in the grass and go to work to cutting the grass and make to be a bundle and carry by his shoulder. That's how uh, he can make the money by his the labor job, you know, by his body working hard at the labor job. And who what and put uh, give him $25, but he has a little money. <laughs> But uh, over there, we can help a little bit because he only earn like two fifty to five dollars a day. But the twenty five dollar can help him a couple of day. But if we have any general people and they having a heart to donate for them. We will go back again. Uh, we work on it every day. Um, every every video when you see it, uh, people still there. It's not old videos, not uh, many year video, but only uh, the current video that we just posted. And people just uh, in there. If you want to help, please leave the comment, and we will start from there. So everything is just real in their real life. So uh, it's not long ago. And I'm here, I try to working hard and donate to help them some too, as much I can, um, because I have to pay my bill too. And then there's a lot of things to pay, but I just do the best I can, uh, helping them by donate some money. And probably the next video, uh, we'll bring something for him, like the food supply and whatever can helping them to start it and well just in the dark like i said uh, i don't know what to say uh, you guys can see the video is the, the real life of uh, brother Saman and sister Janti. okay uh, thank you for your watching and thank you very much for your support if you would like to support please Subscribe and click notification bell to get new video upload every six o'clock at central time every day. I try my best to do it. Thank you for you will like you. You make a difference to the world and you bring peace to the world. Without you, uh, don't make anything the different. It thanks you for your support too. And you guys have a wonderful day. I have to go now. Okay, we'll see you guys on next video. Bye-bye now.